Hi, BookTube. This is Johnny. Uh, I'm going to make a video. And today is June the 16th, 2017. is a Friday here in West Michigan. It is 81 degrees tonight. And I'm sitting here in the dining room. I noticed uh, I have made a video in three days. And it's amazing how the days just speed by. Yeah, we are already in the middle of the month. I started the second folder of my June 2017 diary. I ended on page 536 this evening. And so tomorrow, June the 17th, the Saturday, tomorrow I volunteer once again at the library book nook, the used bookstore here in Holland, Michigan. And yeah, as far as what I've been reading, well, I think the last time I made a video, I was I mentioned I was reading the works of William Perkins, Volume 4, reading his exposition upon the whole epistle of Jude, which is found in the New Testament. It's just a little letter before you get to the Revelation, the book of uh, Revelation, the book of Revelation. So I was reading that. And I did start reading the luminaries. I mean, I just, I couldn't resist. I just started getting into it. I read 117 pages. Uh, it says in the back here uh, about a description of the novel. Uh, it is 1866 and Walter Moody has come to stake his claim in New Zealand's gold rush. On the stormy night of his arrival, he stumbles across a tense gathering of 12 local men who have met in secret to discuss a series of unexplained events. A wealthy man has vanished, a prostitute has tried to end her life, an enormous cache of gold, like a big chest of gold, has been discovered in the home of a luckless drunk. Moody is soon drawn into a network of fates and fortunes that is complex and squizzly ornate as the night sky. Richly evoking a mid-19th century world of shipping, banking, and gold rush boom and bust, The Luminaries is at once a fiendishly, like, you know, fiend, fiendishly clever ghost story, a gripping page turner, and a reinvention of the lore and power of the Zodiac. It confirms Eleanor Canton as one of the brightest stars in the International Literary Firmament. Well, it's kind of hard to say that because this is her first novel, maybe her second novel. But, you know, I'm reading it. I'm getting a little into it. I haven't gotten grabbed. It hasn't just grabbed me yet, but I am reading it. I did buy... What was it? I don't know. I bought it. Oh, I got this book in the mail. <laughs> this is The Young Radicals in the War for American Ideas by Jeremy McCarter. Uh, where do we find our ideas? What does it mean to live for them and to risk dying for them? For Americans during World War I, these weren't abstract questions. Young Radicals tells the story of five activists, intellectuals, and troublemakers who agitated for freedom and equality in the hopeful years before the war, then fought to defend those values in a country pitching into, into violence and chaos. Based on six years of extensive archival research, Jeremy McCarter, Carter's dramatic narrative brings to life the exploits, exploits of Randolph Byrne, the bold social critic who strove for a, a dream of America that was decades ahead of its time, Max Eastman, the charismatic poet, propagandist at Grimwood Village, whose magazine The Masses fought the government for the right to oppose the war, Walter Lippmann, a boy wonder of socialism, who forged a new path to seize new opportunities, Alice Paul, a sur surfer, you know, you know, you know, you know, the women's movement uh, leader who risks suffragettes, suffragettes, leader who risked everything to win women the right to vote, and John Reed, the swashbucking journalist 
an impresario who was an eyewitness to and a key player in the Russian Revolution. So I got that in the mail. I've been reading that. So I've been basically reading when not writing in my diary, watching the birds, meditating, contemplating, doing errands, eating, sleeping. I've been reading these books. As I said, there today was the first day of the Hendrick Friends of the Library used book sale. And I have 31 books. And I was wondering if I want to show all 31 of them. Maybe I'll just show... I'll give it... It's 9.16. I'll stop around 9.20. Uh, first, I'm gonna show the doubles. I got when I got you know when, I, when I'm at a book sale, I'm not always sure if I have the book. I got this book today at the book sale. I know I went to the book sale. I also was a volunteer. I had to guard the rare books from people walking off with them. Uh, the policy is for rare books at the book sale that when you have to pay for them right away, you can't or pick them up as you're leaving. Uh, go pay for your books. You can't carry them around. So I sat there in a chair guarding the rare books and looking at my books and once in a while I would get up and look around. Usually when I go to a book sale I go to, first I go to the biography, then I go to poetry and classics, and then I go to nonfiction, and then I go to art, and then I go to literature, like fiction, and then I go to paperbacks, and then I go to nature and science. Uh, I don't usually go to religion because most of the time I use book sales. Religious books are just, you don't find any of that. I did find one today, I'll show it later. One interesting religious book. But I, uh, so I don't always know what I have because, you know, I, I'm going on 10,000 books and you can't keep track of all of them. But I looked at this uh, John Jean Paul Sartre, The Troubled Sleep. And I found out I had this copy in my library. I'll probably keep this copy and take this copy to the book nook tomorrow. Tomorrow I volunteer. And I found I had I collect Joan Dillon. This is her novel, The Last Thing He Wanted. This is I found this at the book sale, and I found I had this copy. It has no slipper, no slip cover on it. This one I got today does. So this one I'll take to the book nook tomorrow. And then I found a biography by Fred Kaplan. I, he has written many, many biographies. Uh, uh, he wrote a on Gore Vidal. He's written on Samuel Clements. He's written on Thomas Carlyle. He's written on Charles Dickens. It just goes on and on. And I... I saw this biography and I wasn't sure if I had it. So, you know, I have a big Charles Dickens collection and I found out I had this paperback edition in our library. So I'll take this edition to the book nook tomorrow and keep this nice hardback edition, slipcover. It's not marked, it's in perfect condition. It's not a library. Well, wait a minute. It is from a library. I don't know, maybe not. What is that? Yeah, it's from the library. I don't know. Anyway, it's in better condition. Well, I like hardback, so I'll take this to the book and I'll keep this one. So what else did I find? I Well, I'll just keep going. Even though I, I'm over my time, 9.20. Uh, I, I like the short stories of Alice Monroe. Monroe? Monroe? Moreau. This is her. This is a selection that she chose of her best stories. I have some of the. I have these stories in other volumes, but I was kind of curious what her best, what she would select as her best stories. So I got this, and I got these essays on by Loyal, Loyal, is that Loyal, Loyal now Trilling. The Moral Obligation to Be Intelligent, Select as Essays. I got that. And I got this. I had this book 
Life in Middlemarch, a memoir by Rebecca Mead that my daughter borrowed it a couple years ago, and I, she never returned it, so I got another copy. Middlemarch is one of my favorite novels of all time, and uh, so yeah, I got this. George Eliot's Middlemarch is it's one of my favorite of all novels. And I found a novel by Tim O'Brien. He's famous for his novel. Uh, you know that novel. You know, I didn't, I found out, I, I thought I had it. It's called The Things They Carried. Uh, this one I didn't have. This is Tim O'Brien, his novel Tomcat in Love. And then I found a, a, an Albert Camus novel I didn't have, The First Man, the final novel of the novel prize-winning author of The Stranger by Camus. And I found a, essays by Is, Isaiah Berlin, The Proper Study of Mankind Anthology of Essays. I have a, I collect Is, uh, Isaiah Berlin. He was a intellectual thinker. He wrote essays. He wrote a book on Karl Marx. Uh, just all kinds of things, and I found this big book of his essays. Well, you know, just stuff. And I found this travel book by Phil William Delparip, Indian Travels and Encounters, The Age of Ka. Ka. He writes, his books are on the, the country of India, their history, and things like that. This is Lonely Planet Journeys. This is his... Uh, it's just a travel stories about going around different parts of India. I found this book called Mirrors, Stories of Almost Everyone by Eldardo Gallino. This is translated out of, I think out of Spanish. Never heard of this guy, but it looked interesting. Found a novel I didn't have by Wallace Steiger. I have almost everything, but I never seen this one before. Recapulation, a novel. And then finally, I'm just going to show the Enlightenment and interpretation. This is a series that Peter Gay did on the Enlightenment. This is a, a volume, The Rise of Modern Paganism. So I'll, I'll show the rest of the books that I got at the library used book sale tomorrow night. I'm, tomorrow I go back to the book sale, I'll probably get some more books. So yeah, that's what I found. Um, nothing really I found that really blew me away. I did find one book though that was kind of interesting that I found to I looked it up on the internet today. It's a dissertation, and um, I came across this in nonfiction, and I looked it up, and it goes for $315 <laughs> used. You can't get it. It's really, um, it's probably very academic. It's called Desolation's March, The Rise of Personalism and the Reign of Amusement in 21st Century America by Stephen Paul Foster. Uh, I really, uh, I really, um, I really like this. I think the guy is a very, uh, a conservative, but I'm not really sure. But I got this uh, for a dollar, <laughs> and it goes for three hundred and fifteen dollars. So I don't know. So that's what I got as far as, like I said, what I've been reading. Been reading the luminaries. I'll probably read this tomorrow when I go to the book nook. I got a volunteer, and then after I volunteer at the book nook from 10 to 1, I'll probably help at the used book sale, guarding the rare books or helping people with their purchases or whatever. But I've been reading the luminaries, reading in the morning for devotions. William Perkins, his exposition on the Epistle of Jude, and reading the Young Radicals. That's what I'm gonna be reading. I cataloged all these books in my library thing. If you want to know, my username and library thing is Book Mountain. Also, you can read about my books in my online diary, Crooked Fingers and Live Journal. So thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the comments. And until next time, hope you have a good weekend. 
Uh, we're already in the middle of the month. We're already halfway through the year. Half the year has gone by. Summer is upon us. Existence keeps flying by. Bye.